know they had to get out of there quickly, but they did leave Mono behind. Which wasn't very nice. Ah! Where the hell did those stones go? Stones just don't disappear like that. Yes, ride faster. Destroying my plans. I just wanted to bring my girlfriend back to life! And they had to ruin it. If I had been like 10 minutes quicker. <laughs> Why are we getting a little tiny bit of an upskirt? You can almost see her knee. Wait a minute. <gasps> Guys. Guys. Holy shit. Her eyes are moving. Hi, Mono! <laughs> I guess Dorman kept up his end of the deal. I mean, it's not our fault. We well, we didn't fail, actually. We did succeed. It was that jackass priest guy who, you know, messed everything up. Hi, Mono! How are you? I wonder if Dorman implanted her with, like, the memories of everything that happened so she knows what went down. And why do they call this land cursed? It's so pretty! I mean, look at that! Pretty! God, I want to make her outfit. It is surprisingly difficult to make. I did find a couple pictures online. Concept art and stuff. It looks like it's made of gauze. And in fact has a whole bunch of symbols on it just like Wander's. Wait. I know that sound. I know that sound. Oh! Well, Horsey survived! Now she has something she can live on when she can't find food! Oh, he's hurt! Agro, honey! Mono, please be a healer. Work some, like, magic mumbo-jumbo on him. I mean, he did get brought back from the dead and all. You should have some kind of magic at this point. She's all- her dress is almost glowy. Oh, man. Dude. This game. We're gonna get pictures of all of the dead colossi as they've become one with the land again. And I'm going to sit through these credits. Mostly because I know of something at the end of them. Yeah, this game is just... It's just good. It's gorgeous. You have these ups and these downs. The ups being the colossi fights and the downs being the getting from um, the shrine to your next fight. And sure, there's not too much going on between the temple and your next fight. But... The just atmosphere of the game makes up for that. This game, the place or the setting that you're in, it just kind of puts forward. This place is empty. It's supposed to be a land that nobody is allowed into. It's nothing but ruins. Having no fights or no um, encounters between the temple and where the next colossi is makes a lot of sense to me. It's like it gives the feel of this huge land that's just uninhabited. All you've got are lizards, <laughs> fruit trees, the occasional little rabbit or something, and hawks. Two of them, apparently. There used to be one. Maybe that has something to do with the fact that we revived the mono and now there's two. Symbolism! 
field collision? What is that so I don't have my sword disappearing into the uh, floor like I did earlier? <gasps> I mean, a place like where this takes place, just think about it. You're the only person there. There is nobody around at all. This entire area is yours. Nobody's going to come and bother you. Nobody's going to come and take this over because it's supposed to be a cursed land, quote unquote. And then, oh, and then Mono. It's, it's very poetic that you don't even see the backstory of these characters. You don't see the backstory of Mono or Wander. You don't see the backstory of Lord Eamon or any of the people following him. All you get is just inklings of it, and that can be okay. Like in a game like this, it works perfectly. You don't need to know what killed Mono. You don't need to know their exact relationship. You just know that Wander is going to go to this lengths where he pretty much kills himself to revive her. It's beautiful! Oh, also his mask is flipped bad. I think he rode his horse too fast. Those are very short credits. Fine by me, even though that's a really pretty bridge. Unless they are in some, uh, rock climbing, then they can just climb down. He doesn't need to. <laughs> he didn't do anything wrong. It wasn't like he was trying to revive Satan or something. Okay, he might have been. But they don't explain that either. <laughs> now we're gonna get to see what happens with Mono. Oh, aggro! Whenever the horse is still pushing himself, I would be sitting the hell down at this point. The horse has a broken goddamn leg! Or something. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot about this part. Um. Hi! Wa- 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 wander? <laughs> Hi, wander. You're a... You're a baby. With horns. But a baby! Well, this got awkward, seeing as they're supposed to be the love interests. I hope she waits until he becomes an adult. Unless he regains all of his memories and ages really quickly, which might make sense, seeing as he's the fucking demon now. Where are we going? Oh, we're going to that uh, area that you can't get in a normal game and you have to have a maxed out grip gauge to get to. Which means, which is something you can't actually do in one playthrough. You have to do it more than one. Well, usually. That dress is so pretty for being so simple. Yes, guys, there is a Garden of Eden at the top of the temple. A goddamn Garden of Eden. Complete with fruit that will reset your health and grip gauge in a normal game. Stretch! In case you know, you want more of a challenge. <laughs> Dear! 
Eat it. Kill it! Get the ball out, honey! <sighs> deer. What the first deer we've seen. Why aren't there deer elsewhere? Where's your parents? They look really young. Oh well, young venison be good, right? Bison ma. Uh, tender. You could probably make some uh, nice hide or leather out of it too. Make some new clothes. And you gotta think about survival here, Mono. You got a baby. And an injured horse. If you want to keep the horse, you probably have to kill the deer. The bloom effects in this game are far too strong. The hawk! It's the hawk! Where's your friend? Are you gonna go see Fenris and Anders? I'm gonna go see Fenris and Anders. Well, say hi to him for me. It's gonna be a little while before I can do a Let's Play of Dragon Age 2. Wow, that place is actually rather large. I could just spend forever just exploring that place if I was in this land. Ah! So pretty! Yeah, I'm done freaking out about the prettiness, I swear. No, I'm not. Just got a little left. And this. Okay, now, I'm not gonna go on about the prettiness of the scenery, but this music. <laughs> we don't get a lot of music in this game. Just select parts, like when you're facing colossi and things. This is a pretty song. Let's just listen to it for a moment. Dun dun dun. Now that is an entertaining credit sequence to sit through. You get actual story, like in Xenosaga, you get actual storyline stuff and like little cutsceney things as you're watching the credits. Makes you not want to skip them like you do in every other game. Hi, Mr. Hawk. Or Mrs. Hawk. I prefer Mrs. Hawk. Yes, Mrs., not Miss. Preferably with Anders. No, no, not with Anders. Fuck Anders. Fenris. Preferably with Fenris. I don't like Anders. Well, I like him, but I hate that I like him. So I hate him. Why am I talking about Dragon Age 2? I'm playing Shadow of the Colossus. Anyway, game is over! Title screen? Yes. Save. No. Save on this one, just in case something messes up with the recording! Yay, save's complete! We have defeated the last Colossus. We have revived our dead girlfriend, Mona. And been turned into a baby. Oh well. Them's the something. Next time, the Let's Play that's going to be replacing this is actually going to be Dragon Age Origins. I'm going to start uploading that twice a day instead of once in order to get through it as quickly as possible so I can get on to 2 and then eventually Inquisition. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager and I've been playing Shadow of the Colossus. See you all in another Let's Play.